Calm down. And tell me exactly what happened. Well, it was about 4.30 in the afternoon. And Laura came in first. Was she with Luke? Well, Luke came in with Robert about a few minutes later and brought in the woman with this gunshot wound. Did you recognize her? No, not at all. But I, I, as soon as she came in, I soon realized that, that she wasn't going to make it. Shock had set in and she'd lost a lot of blood and her signs were weakening. So I called General for an ambulance. And then right after that, she died. And then the strangest thing happened. Robert phoned somebody, I don't know who, and, and he, he gave some kind of a code number. Can you remember the number? Well, I, I think it was uh, 3342. Yes, that was it, 3342. And he told whoever was at the other end to take care of it. 3342, that's not a police code. No. It's not a paramedic either. Well, uh, the woman, uh, uh, what happened then? Well, well uh, then Scorpio left, and, and Luke and Laura ran out after him. And Did they say where they were going? Well, I don't think they even knew themselves. Well, where's the woman's body now? Well, well, right after that, two men came in, and they flashed these official-looking government credentials, and they wouldn't even let General's ambulance attendants touch her. You mean they took her themselves? Mm -hmm. In an unmarked station wagon. Well, they, they moved so fast, I couldn't interfere. Well, they said where, were the, where they were going. Well, to General. <laughs> At least that's what they said. Or wait, wait, back up a second here. Uh, can you describe the woman? Well, she was not very tall, but strong. And she had close, uh, short-cropped hair, light gray, kind of white almost, with oh, bright Riley. blue eyes. Oh, Riley. what? Oh, I've seen her with Laura. What is going on here? I sure don't know, but we're going to find out. Well, now, wait, there's about. more. Well, what's happened? Well, things just started to get settled down around here. And then someone came in and said that they fished another body out of the harbor. Luke? A young man. No, 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 I saw the body. It wasn't anybody I recognized. But, uh, the, Luke and Laura, the, they could, did, they could have something happen. Right, fine, a lot could have happened, but let's not jump any conclusions. Why don't we go back to General? There has to be some kind of report there. There'll be ideas of some form, okay? Okay, no, yeah. let's go look for Luke, yeah. all right? Listen, okay, so. see if you can find that cab driver who's always hanging around Kelly's. What is his name? Slick, Slick, yeah. I don't know the Yeah, I know who Slick is. I think I know where we can find him, too. Well, great, you find him. I want to talk to Luke. He's got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, I think so, too. See ya. Right. Thank you, Georgia, oh, very much. I hope I didn't mess things up. No, no, no. no, no great no. help. Thank and you. if they come back before you close up, you call us at the hospital, okay? Keep right. them here. Right, good luck. Thank Uh, sir, I hate to bother you, but I'm with a gourmet liquor delivery. We got this huge order from this yacht here, you know, and my driver seems to be lost or something. Do you know if they're going to leave soon or anything? Well, I just gave them their clearance papers. They're free to leave immediately. I'm kidding. Gee, I hate to lose my job. I don't suppose you could maybe uh, stall them or something? They've been pressing me for permission all day. Oh, yeah? I assume they'll launch right away. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Well, better find a phone. Thank you, sir. Captain's got his walking papers, man. He can leave any time he wants. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Meanwhile, Captain Ahab's looking for the great white whale. Yeah, I'm gonna check this out. I mean, I can't even see this guy from here. Where do you think you're going? Stay put. You're never, you're never gonna make it. You give these two pea brains more credit than they deserve. I'll bet you I can walk right up the gangplank. They wouldn't even know who the hell I was. Yeah, well, be that. Where the hell is this? I don't know. Row, man, wherever you are. Row. <laughs> Um, over there will be fine, please. Uh, no, on second thought, I think you should put it over there. Oh, 
no, no, it's in the way there. Back two feet. Oh, there, there. Perfect. Well, that will be all. I'll call for you when I need to unpack. Yes, ma'am. Oh, there you are, my love. You all right? Oh. Mm. Oh, that maid is dreadful. Yes. And is this the largest stateroom we have on board? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. This is smaller than the one we had on Elizabeth II. Oh, this is a smaller ship. Oh, well, so it is. Are you ready to tell me where we're going now? I already told you I can't. Oh, but I want to make sure that I have enough clothes to wear. One steamer trunk sent ahead, and all the luggage you brought with you. We could sail around the world four times before you have to wear something twice. <laughs> and you know how I detest wearing anything twice. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> so for the sake of good planning, where are we going? Don't press on this, please, Tiffany. You know the arrangements. Only too well. Full financing for any movie or play project of my choosing in exchange for my professional... Companionship. And no questions asked. Oh, but darling, all actresses, even exceptional ones like myself, need to know all the, the background of their characters. You're my lover. And that's all you need to know. And do us both a favor, play it to the hilt. <laughs> Don't I always? <sighs> oh. Oh, Victor. It's just so wonderful being here with you and finally getting some rest and relaxation. And oh, it will... What a wonderful trip it will be. Mm. And it will be wonderful, I guarantee it. Mm. Is Tony here? Yes. Mm, well, I guess that we have to meet sometime. I just hope that it won't bother him too much, you know, seeing me with you. Don't worry. He, too, has someone on board to keep him occupied. Who? Mm -hmm. Alexandria! <laughs> <laughs> In the flesh! Oh, this is fine. Oh, this is truly wonderful. Oh, let me sharpen my claws. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tiffany, don't be cruel. Oh, me? Well, I wouldn't know how. And I thought Paris would mellow you. <laughs> well, it had, until a few moments ago. Does she know that I'm here? Uh, not yet. Oh, well, what are we waiting for, then? Which way to the arena? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we, my dear? Oh, lead on. Come on, come on, man. Make a splash before they pull away from this dock. Yeah, what's he waiting for? difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. But it's clear to me now that there's just no other way. When you read this, I will already be gone. Please don't try to find me. You may be followed and nothing you could say would change my mind. Alan, know that I love you with all my heart. And I pray that someday we will truly be together as we've dreamed. Your child will be my comfort in the days ahead without you. Until the day we can be together again, I'll raise our baby with the same love and tenderness that you've shown me. Ever yours, my love, Susan. Alan, I didn't hear you arrive. What are, what are you looking at through the telescope? Nothing. No conferences, no business meetings with your dear little partner tonight? Not now, Monica. Oh, was well, she called away?
funny. Those waters seem unusually calm tonight. Well, I am off, and I am sure Steve is already growling for his dinner. <laughs> I'm leaving shortly, too. George is on her way over. Poor Georgia, she's really had quite a day, hasn't she? Oh, yes, indeed she has. I tried to get her to take the night off, but she insisted on doing duty. Ah, oh, so like her, isn't yeah, it? it is. What do you know about the murders you, down in the docks? Well, uh, we were told to uh, expect a gunshot victim for emergency treatment. Yeah, but when the attendants arrived, the woman was already dead, and the coroner's office had stepped in and taken the body. What well, about the other one, the man? Well, that was the same sort of thing. We expected a DOA, and uh, everything was changed. Coroner's office again? Uh, something sounds very funny here. That's just not right. There's, no. a, there's a cover up. Well, we thought it was kind of strange. I didn't at least bring the woman into general. Or emergency was alerted. Did you know her, Rick? No, of her, yes. Leslie was she was explaining. probably somehow involved with Lauren and, and maybe Luke, and now they've disappeared, and we think maybe. But... No, we don't know. We don't know anything. We don't oh, think. Oh, Leslie, I'm sure everything's going to be all right. Luke wouldn't let anything happen to Laura. Uh -huh. But he has gotten her involved in things in the past, and I'm afraid that's just what might have happened again. Look, I want to take you home, and I'm going to find Mr. Spencer. We're going to get to the bottom of this, and now. No, no, I'm not going to go home. If you're going to look at right. it, I'm going. Fine, Where's you're coming with me. We'll see you later. Let me know if there's any development. Go. Go. go find that jerk, man. Stay put. You fool. Wherever you are, jump in the water. Wherever you want, jump! Right there. We go right up the rope. All right? 